I started private practice in probably 1960. Okay. And I was in private practice all 1979, 1980. And you must have had a job to start with? Uh, very little. Very little. <laughs> a couple, couple of small things, you know. I actually started with Eddie McMahon. He was working at Donahue's at the time. And we were a bit fed up with, uh, as you get, you know, we wanted to have a yeah. go ourselves. Yeah. We took the plunge. In. He lived in Kinross Street, which is just off Greenview Terrace. Yeah. And we opened an office on the veranda of his house at 40 Kinross Street. And we were there for a couple of years, I think. And uh, so what, what were those first little oh, things oh. that you did? Oh, I think it was domestic, most of it. Uh, what, additions? Or yeah, new yeah. Additions? So I, I started with additions through connections with some builders I got to know. Uh, I should at this stage say that I was uh, at, brought up as a Lutheran and the Lutheran church in Wickham Terrace up here was where my mother went to church and I went too from a small child up. And I was actually married there, you know, so the little church on Wickham Terrace is mine and Andrew House on the corner, Eddie McMahon and I did together in about 1960-something. Huh. Since been modernised in yes, inverted commas, yes. which I don't agree with, but yes. at the time we thought it was quite reasonable, you know. It worked quite well all those years. Well, that, that did you do anything of that scale before that? No, no. So that's a pretty ambitious first project. It was. Well, it came up, uh, the church came up with money and I was a member of the business, so I was asked would I like to do the job. Mm. That's how it started. And you didn't have to compete with anybody? No. no. And I got lots of other church jobs too. I've done churches all over the place. Yeah. Terribly proud of some of them. But How many would you have done? Oh, one, two, three, four. Reasonable size. I did one in an alteration to a church in Albury, the clergyman I knew. Mm -hmm. The clergyman shifted around from other parts of Australia. And now and again you get a call from someone, he rang you from Albury. I said, look, we want to renovate the church, could you come down? <laughs> so, anyway, we did. it was quite successful. I remember going to the opening with a new porch and things on the front and did a bit of work. Well, Carl had done work for the Lutheran uh, yes, Church Yes, well, he did St Peter's he? College stuff. Yes, yes, that's right. So did you get to work on St Peter's as well? No, no, they stuck with Carl right through. I didn't endeavour to compete with anybody. Oh. I was just approached by various groups in the thing. We did a, a girls' hostel at Sherwood, I remember. Um, which I think probably demolished all now. It's housing differently. Church at Cleveland that I went to the 40th anniversary of a few months ago. And was that a new building? Yeah, it's brand new. That's at Cleveland. Huh. Mary, yeah. my late wife and I, did a carving for behind the altar. Yeah. When we were doing it, they said, I said, it needs a big carving at the back of the altar. Oh, yeah, where are we going to get that? They said, I said, well, we'll do it. You buy the timber and we'll do the carving. Muggy, put myself in. And it's about, oh, three or four metres in both dimensions. Mm -hmm. It's a huge, made of Queensland beach, and it's a crucifixion. Mm -hmm. Quite, I mean, I'll last that myself, it's quite impressive as a piece of work. It's still there. It's all, when I pieced them all together, it was very, elaborate business to make it. So had you ever done anything like that before? Yes, or? I had. While I was working for Carl, I met Lynn and Kathleen Shillam. Oh. And uh, we became friends with Shillam's a little bit, Mary and I. We saw them from time to time. They're both gone now, unfortunately. Um, and actually, that's where I met Mary, my wife, at the vacation school run by Gertie at the Queensland University. Must have been 1955 or 6, I can't remember just which year. But uh, another person that worked with me at, at Donahue's was John Yusinski. I subsequently made a partnership with John and we worked together for quite a few years. So when would that have been? 
about 1968. Mm. Eddie McMahon had, we'd, we'd sort of run out of work, you know, and he said, well, he, he couldn't afford to, he got married, and he said, I can't afford not to do something, so he went to work for Blair Wilson, I remember that. <coughs> so where were you practising from then? Uh, Wickham Terrace. 29 Wickham Terrace. It's demolished now. When Turbot Street went through, it all went. It was a, a building designed by... Who was it? Paul Phillips, I think. I used to have a blueprint of it. It's disappeared now, I'm sorry. Any of the, incidentally, any of the church archives, if it ever becomes interesting, are held by the church up there. They've got a big basement underneath. All the original drawings for that church and Andrew House, and all the documentation that I had, they've got in there. Oh, this is the Wigan Terrace Church. Mm. Oh. <coughs> okay.